this video is all about the 3D shapes. In this video, I'm going to talk about the prism and pyramids. Then we're going to talk about the different types of a pyramid and prism. Then we will discuss about the properties and net of the 3D shapes. So, have a look at these 3D shapes. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is we are going to group these shapes into two groups. So you know how to do it, right? So I'm going to put them into two groups like this. So one of the group has got pointy top, the other group has got a top and bottom. So first group is called, uh, we already know that it's a pyramid, and second group is a prism. And you can see sphere and hemisphere and ellipsoid, these are neither prism nor pyramid. So, right, so now let's talk a bit more details about the prisms and then pyramids. And then we're also going to compare them. So first of all, prisms. What prism can be defined as the 3D shape with the two identical faces. That is called the base. It has a top and bottom shape. That is called the base. And as you can see, this prism is same as a triangle. Then the prism has got all other faces as a quadrature. So it can be rectangle or square. Then the prism also have a cross section. So cross section means when you have a prism here, if I slice it perpendicularly, then you can see the sides, right? This is called the cross sections and prism has got the all the same cross section and that is identical to its base as well. Then here I've got a cylinder, then I slice it perpendicularly, then you can see the cross sections, it's a circle, and then circle is also the base of the, the cylinder as well. Now, let's move on to the pyramid. How can we define the pyramid? Pyramid has only one base. Then, can you see the base? Then, this pyramid has got a square as its base and then another important thing is all other faces are triangle so can you spot the faces around surrounding the pyramid that is all triangles right then when you see these faces all other faces they slope and meet at one point then we've got a pointy part that is called the apex now, before talking about their types, let's briefly compare them again. The main difference between the pyramids and prism is that a pyramid is having only one base, right? And it always has a triangular shaped side. And all the sides of the pyramid are always joined with one other at a point. The pointy top that is called the apex, which is located just above the center of the base. On the other hand, the prism is characterized by two bases, which are polygons and then rectangular size perpendicular to the base. And the cross section is the same across all sides in the prism. Now, have a look at these shapes and pause the video and identify the types of prism and pyramid by yourself. So one very important thing about types of pyramids and prism is that they are determined by the shape of its base. So let's focus on their base. So when the prism has got a triangle as its base, the name of a prism is called triangular prism. And then the pyramid with a triangle base is it, you can say triangular based pyramid, but it has a specific name that is the tetrahedron. And when you see the tetrahedron, all the faces are the triangle. So, how about the, the prisms and pyramid with a square base? This is called a cube, and all the faces of the cube is a square. And then, pyramid with a square is a square based pyramid. How about the rectangle? We know that this is a cuboid. And then pyramid is called a rectangular based pyramid. When we have a base as a circle, 
the prism is called the cylinder and then we know that the pyramid is called the cone that now let's have a look at the pentagon this is called the pentagonal prism and the pyramid is a pentagonal based pyramid and then have a look at the hexagon, hexagonal prism, and the hexagonal based prism, and all other polygons will be the same when it comes to the nonagon, decagon, right? Now, let's move on to the properties of the 3D shape. Then, I think you're already familiar with the properties of the 3D shape. So, there are three things you can see face, and then corner is called the vertices, and if you got more than one, then vertices. Then, when the two faces meet together, we can have our edges, right? So these are the properties of the 3D shape. Then remember, when it comes to the pyramid, it has a very special vertex that is called the apex, right? The pointy top is called the apex. Then, this time, now we are going to talk about the numbers of face, edges, and vertices. Let's talk about the number of faces, edges, and vertices of the 3D shapes. So first of all, we only focus on the prism and pyramid that have polygons on their base because they have patterns. Then we will move on to the circular base 3D shape which doesn't have any pattern. Then, now whenever we look for numbers of faces, vertices, and edges, please, please think about how many sides of the face has and try to find the patterns. So, first of all, let's talk about the face first. That we have a cube and cuboid that always when it comes to number of face and vertices, edges, we need to talk about the 3D shape has got a base then how many sides does the base have then cube has got square and it's a four-sided shape right then when we count the face it's a six faces move on to the cuboid cuboid also has got a four-sided base four-sided shape so cuboid also has got a base as a four-sided shape then when we count the face it's a six then try to spot the pattern. Let's move on to other prisms. All the way down, we've got a triangular prism and tri uh, the base of the triangular prism is a triangle. So it's a three-sided shape. Then its face has got five and the hexagonal six-sided shape. Then its face is eight. So what did you notice? So remember, you always add up to so number of faces is always two more than the number of size of the face because look at this for example you've got a cube cube has got a four side and its side face of the size is four that you need to just add up the top and bottom that's why it's always two more faces then how about pyramid so tetrahedron three-sided shape then your Base is four. Then how about square base? This is a four-sided. Your face is five. You just add up the bottom face, right? That is called the base. And then pentagonal base is the five, but add up one more face. That's why six. So you see the pattern. So when it comes to the pyramid, you just add up one more than one more than your number of side of the base. Then let's talk about the vertices. Still, let's spot the patterns. Cube has got the base with the four sided, then vertices is eight, and cubo is the same eight. Then let's talk about the triangular prism, triangle, three sided shape. Then your vertices is a six, and then hexagon tw uh, 12. So, what did you notice? Your vertices, number of vertices always double the number of the side of the face. Right. Because when you count the vertices of the, your bottom shape, you've got a 4. And your top shape is a 4. That's why it's always double. Right. Then now let's move on to the vertices of a pyramid. Then 
那 square base pyramid square four that is five and pentagon five is one more. You see the pointy top. So pyramid is simple because the vertices always add one more. That is the apex, right? So always add up one more that number of the side of the base. Then when it comes to the edges, so let's have a look at the cube. Four sided shape. Then edge is 12, then cuboid, four side is 12, and then triangular prism, three sided and nine, and hexagonal, six sided is 18. Now, did you spot the pattern? Then, yes, you can notice that it's three times bigger than the number of sides of the base, right? Then, how about the pyramid? Pyramid is a three, and you can see six. And then four sided is an eight, and then pentagon that you can have a ten edges. So we can see that pyramid is a doubled, right? So just try to remember these patterns. Then also we've got a formula for the numbers of faces and the vertices and edges. Try to spot the this is a formula, and you can use this formula for all the 3d shape with the polygon base okay but now think about it when you add up the number of faces and vertices and then compare with the number of edges what can you see the numbers will be difference between them is two right so when you add up the number of faces and vertices and take away two is always number of edges so when it comes to question like talking about the we've got a five six faces and some vertices and how many edges can you see then try to use this formula but now these are the extra because it all has got a circle based 3d shapes and it doesn't have any patterns all you need to do is imagine the shape and then count how many faces edges and vertices so cylinder has got a three faces top and bottom and then side and edges alongside with the the top and bottom base that's why it's two edges and no vertices and then cone has got a two face bottom and side and then it has got only one edges alongside with the base and sphere is a perfectly round that's why it has got only face and no edges and no vertices that now let's briefly talk about less of the 3d shapes and then that's uh, what it looks like if it is opened out flat so now let's match it the right 3d shape with the right net that when it comes to the net please please find the base first base is the most important so let's color the base this is the triangular prism so base is a triangle that all the sides are the rectangle right and then this is a tetrahedron all the sides are triangle and then this is a cylinder and then the last one is a hexagonal base the pyramid that now when you focus on the base that let's match it so since the prism two triangle base and then all the side face are the rectangle well the then next one is a tetrahedron all of the faces are the triangle right so that's why tetrahedron is quite special then this is cylinder you've got a two round base and then one of the rectangle side face and then this is the hexagonal base the pyramid the hexagon and then all your sides are triangle because it is a pyramid okay well done so we've been talking about the 3d shapes uh, and then have a look at this flow chart this is a 3d flow chart so let's wrap up our 3d shapes using this flow chart so i'm going, going to ask a question that you need to identify what could be in the empty face so let's begin with the first question am i a prison yes i'm a prison let's move on to the yes section then now that means a prism with the circle base so yes means what 3d shape is this well done this is the the prism with the circle base this is a cylinder right they if, if i don't have a circular basis then all of so are all my faces 
equal size and shape? Yes, one of the prism has got a all equal face. That is cube, right? Then, now if it's not, no, but I'm a box shape. Oh, we know that box shape is a cuboid. Then, and I'm not a box shape, but all my face is triangle. Yes, triangular prism. Right then, then if my base is not triangle, then do I have a pentagon or hexagon face? So pentagonal is a pentagonal prism, hexagonal is a hexagonal prism. Well done, this part is all about the prism, right? Let's say no, that means I'm a pyramid. So yes, I'm a pyramid. Is my base circular? So circular base, the pyramid. We know that that is the cone. Then if I'm not a circular based one, then my base is a square. Yes, square, then square, square based pyramid. And yes, my base is a triangle. Then we know that it's a triangle, triangular based pyramid that is called a tetrahedron. Then now, this is all about pyramid. Then yeah, there are some 3D shapes. Neither prism nor pyramid. That now, it might curved all the way around. So let's say no, I'm not fully curved. So that is called that is the hemisphere, right? Half of the sphere, the hemisphere. That now, yes, yes, I'm perfectly circular. That is a sphere. That now, you know the egg shape. That is the ellipsoid. Ellipsoid is a curved wall. It's not perfectly circular, right? So this is the end of the 3D shape and next video is all about the, the questions about the shapes. Uh, I wish you at the next video. Bye bye.